can all rise up and receive the, our deputy commander, the Special Forces Commander, Honorable Brigadier Charity by Navajo. Thank you very much. Ban, please. For the general salute. Thank you very much. The representative of the Inspector General of Police, AIGP Nwajira John, my brother, directors, commanding officers, officers that have been promoted, our spouses, and combatants. Good afternoon. My training requires that I introduce myself, even if it seems obvious that we all know me. I am Brigadier General Charity Beinababu, the Deputy Commander SFC and Commander 1SFG, and also one of the representatives of UPDF to Parliament. It is a day of joy for these people here. I congratulate you that each one of you has earned the promotion because you know that we started this journey together. PPG is my baby. We have a journey of how many years? From 2010, 13 years of going strong. I congratulate you, PPG, for coming this far. The spouses, we thank you for supporting these ladies and gentlemen. It is not a simple job that we do. It's a 24-hour job that requires support from each one of you. If you are not understanding, you'd have made their work difficult. So I thank you for your support and request that you keep up the support because this is just the beginning. The promotions that they just got is just the beginning of another journey. So we seek your support, your continuous support, because we need it. If someone is unstable at home, you can tell from the way they do their work. So thank you for supporting us, and we request you to keep supporting us. I would like to start by thanking the Commander-in-Chief for recognizing and accepting to elevate us, all of us, all of us, because we have grown over the years. This uh, recognition in a way of promotion comes with hard work. It is not a reward. It comes from hard work. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Commander-in-Chief, Retired General Yoweri Museveni to Havurwa. I would also like to thank the Inspector General of Police. A lot has been done. I am a child of a police officer. So I am a police officer by birth and by any other way that you can talk about. The police, the Uganda police force has grown. Good strides have been made. So when you go back, please pass our regards to our Fundy um, IGP. We appreciate that uh, these people have been promoted. We had, a, we had a spell of no promotions in police and this had followed an inquiry so there was a long spell of uh, halting promotion, and there was a lot of complaint here and there. But here we are. So patience pays, doesn't it? And here we are, and we're still going. SPO Chom, it may not be today. You have been assured by the director of uh, operations that after three years or so, 
the next promotion may come. It will follow hard work and discipline. So I thank uh, the IGP and the entire police leadership for the guidance. When we started off as PPG, many things were difficult. We have come a long way. But we are forced, PPGs are forced to reckon with right now. We started from a very small number. We have grown, grown in number and professionally. This I am a witness to. All these officers here who have just been promoted, we started together PPG in 2010. So we have come a long way. I congratulate you and I congratulate PPG. The Commander PPG, thank you for holding this and carrying it forward. Uh, where I left off, I can see many good things have happened. Keep on and the sky won't be the limit. To the officers who have been promoted, as I already said, it isn't a reward. Responsibility awaits you. The book in the Bible, Luke 12, verse 28 says, From everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. From the one that has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. Much has been given to you in terms of training and promotion, much more will be demanded of you. What will be demanded of you? Your responsibility as an officer, as a commander. There are many people under your command. You have personnel and equipment to take care of. Administrators, you have our resources to take care of. Much will be demanded of you. And I have no doubt that all of you that I've seen here that were promoted will be, are up to the task. So much is demanded of you. There are people under your command who will be looking at you. The people that you have left at the rank that you just came from, who will see whether you actually, you see those subordinates over there, Wanatuchora, they also say, ah, who you command in In their small groups there, they say, ah, why, why, why was this one promoted? He still behaves like us. So, they will be watching. Please, be the example. So leave the gospel. Leave the officer. There are things that an officer does without even thinking about it. An officer is a lady and a gentleman, respectively. So be the lady officer, be the, the gentleman officer. There are things that you're not expected to do as an officer. Because there are people looking up to you. There are people picking an example from the way you turn out, the way you talk, the way you eat, the way you conduct yourself generally. So stand out to be the example. The motto of Uganda Police Force is protect and serve. Protect and serve who? The people of Uganda. What makes the UPF today and the UPDF different from those other forces is how we relate with our Nainchi. So now that you have been elevated, please, every day of your time in service, imp impress it upon your subordinates that we are because the people of Uganda are. If we become their enemies, they certainly will go away from us. Our operations as UPF and UPDF are intelligence-led. Where do we get the intelligence? Where do we get the information from the Wanainchi? If we become unfriendly to them, they will deny us the information. So our relations with the people of Uganda are important because they make us a different force. So protect and serve because this what you are, this institution that you chose to be, this is a noble profession that you chose. So be that and nothing less. So ladies and gentlemen officers, 
And the other PPG personnel that we are promoted who are not here, the combatants, I congratulate you again on behalf of uh, the Commander SFC. Congratulations. Clap for yourselves. <laughs> National security requires the contribution of each individual, each one of us. The summation of our contribution will lead to um, national security. As individual officers, there's a tendency when we are promoted, we tend to live beyond our means. Please avoid that. Because that promotion comes with a, a little increase in pay. Please live within your means. If you don't live within your means, there are many temptations that come. Before I conclude, the president has spoken his voice hoarse over social economic transformation. Each, of an, each one of us here, PPG, and all of us here have a role to play in social economic transformation. But mainly, because here we talk about the specified tasks and the implied, we have a specified task here to secure Uganda. Social economic transformation cannot happen in an insecure environment. So we have a role to play in the social transformation of Uganda. We have to secure Uganda. We have to secure Ugandans. They must feel comfortable to go about their business and go back home without anybody even pointing a finger at them. So we have a role to play in the socioeconomic transformation of Uganda. But as individuals, what are you doing to transform yourself? Because you cannot give what you don't have. You can transform without being corrupt. You can transform without misappropriating the resources that are under your care as an officer, as an admin officer, as a commander. So stay away from corruption. It is a cancer and it eats hard. The wealth that is a must through those means has a curse. If a soldier goes hungry, because you, the commander, have probably sold his food to pay fees for your child, your child is going to school on cursed money. We can transform, we can live within our means and live comfortable. Tuko pamoja hadi hapo with those very many words. I wish you a good day, good celebrations. Let us celebrate within the limits. Uh, like Ndugumango has said, if you go over that fence, you could go into the territory of monkeys or probably go into the water. So while we celebrate, let us celebrate within uh, reasonable means. But uh, I congratulate you on behalf of the Commander SFC and on my own behalf. Congratulations and good luck in the appointments that, uh, in the tasks that will you, we, you will do from this point on. I would like to make a request to, to the IGP through you, my brother, um, IGP uh, Nwajira, that we continue promoting. PPG sometimes feels small. And officers have a tendency of wanting to get out because they feel like their growth will not come as fast because of the size of the unit. So if PPG as a unit could be elevated to the next level, then we would be able to promote more and keep all these good people. I've seen them grow. We wouldn't want to lose them to another unit because a lot has been put into them to come to this level. When they reach a level when, uh, where PPG cannot accommodate these ranks, then we have to lose them to another unit and the memory of the, of the unit will be gone. And the growth generally. So if PPG can be uh, elevated to another level, then we can promote more and be able to retain, yes, 
when they finish tour of duty of here, they can go and serve elsewhere, but we don't want to lose many at a go just because um, the size of the unit cannot um, accommodate them. I thank you and I hope that our request will be put into um, kind consideration. Thank <laughs> you.